Today, we have a very special show. Leg Curls, The Untold Story. Ooh, sounds juicy. Welcome to the, the Personal, Personal Training, Training show. show. I'm Jennifer. I'm Lawrence. Let's curl up with those legs. Let's. Okay, the most important thing in leg curls is to do the exercise like you would do curls for the arm. Leg curls, bicep curls. Okay, so we're gonna go through step by step. Jennifer is gonna lay down in a way that makes it an exercise. So it's very, very important to engage the ankle pad as if it's a dumbbell or a barbell. So when she lays down, she's not gonna lay down to relax her body. She's gonna lay down as if she's about to hold that ankle pad, like you would hold, uh, say, a 15-pound dumbbell out in front of you. So when she lays down, watch how she has a slightly bent leg, bent at the knee. Okay, and a firm, firm grip in her muscle tension to support the ankle pad. Right now, the ankle pad is just at the bottom of the machine's design. But she'll pick it up as she lays down and hold the ankle pad with the back of her ankle as the contact point. Here I go. Very good. That ankle pad came up, and now she's got it engaged. So it is this muscle right here, which is named the biceps of the femur, the biceps femoris. It has the exact same design and function, shape, everything about it is identical to this muscle. So you're never gonna learn to exercise it really well. As a matter of fact, there's many ways to not do this exercise well and strain the ligaments and tendons in the back of the knee, mostly just by not supporting that like we've already covered. But we're gonna try to make it like a bicep curl exercise for the arm. So how we talk about the biceps of the arm is at the top, we want to squeeze the bicep. The equivalent of doing that here is to bring that with control and vigor to bring that ankle pad to the buttocks. Yep, do it again. How's that feel? Good. Good. Okay, rest just one second. And then the second part, to make it just like we do the arm, is to feel that lengthening, okay? So the moment she's brought it and bent her leg all the way and um, brought it to the buttocks. She immediately feels the lengthening. And the way you imagine that as you're laying there, you try to offer it back, the ankle pad that you're supporting. You try to offer it to somebody like two feet behind you and say, here, you want my ankle pad? So let's watch her and think that, okay? To the buttocks. Feel, 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 good. To the buttocks, here, you want my ankle pad? Offer it back and squeeze. Rest, please. All right, this muscle cannot be exercised like an arm curl exercise, except with this machine. There's no alternate for this exercise. This is one of the uh, most valuable machines. Its idea, its design, whoever thought about it, adds a whole lot to producing and maintaining our fitness. So you're going to decline if you do not have this exercise in your program. The way you're gonna decline is you're not gonna walk as well, you're not gonna run as well, you're not gonna cycle as well. You fatigue in this area just because of muscle atrophy. So it's hard to be you. So there's one other thing. This muscle, the back of the thigh, the buttocks and the lower uh, back muscles called the spina erectors, spinal erectors, um, work together in this exercise. This is the only thing that uses them in a, an equal or comprehensive way and vigorous. So it's a priceless exercise because we have so many problems, as I'm sure y'all know, in our pelvic area, which can also be called our trunk back here, in our lower back, knees and everything like that, and it's all due to muscle atrophy, it's because, which means you're too weak to be you, okay? One more time, let's watch her do it and think about those things. That it's a grip right here, a grip right here, and a grip right here. Go, three more. Bam. Tell us if you feel it. Yes, squeezing at the top. I feel the weight distributing as I lengthen. All the way down. Good, you're never gonna get a good looking leg without this exercise. You're never gonna get a good looking butt without this exercise, because the muscle tone of this muscle, the back of the thigh, runs completely underneath the glutes and attaches in the lower back. So it actually holds your rear end up. It's like a cup. It holds your rear end up. So if you let this muscle go, 
then there's no way that you're going to not have a saggy butt muscle, okay? It's all connected, as they say in the jingle, all righty? That's it. Thanks. Try leg curls. See what happens. We have come to the end of another broadcast day. Trying to make the world a better place. One muscle at a time. Have fun, stay out of trouble. And remember, exercise responsibly. <laughs>